my name is Dinesh Krishna. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a SQL operation using camel printer. So in order to do that, obviously we need what you know, the database first of all, since we're going to perform the SQL operation. As part of this tutorial, I'm going to use MySQL as a database. You can see the MySQL terminal is open. I'm going to create the database. So to do that, create database. The database name is camel underscore tutorial. So the database is created. I'm going to add a table into the database. So how to do that, use camel. So I'm going to create the table. Create table customer ID integer then name varchar. The simple understanding is we have a database, inside the database we have one table, the table is customer, which has what you know, two column, ID and the name. The table is successfully created, right? So I'm gonna you I'm gonna add few rows to the table. So I have to do that, insert into customer, right? So I'm gonna add you know one at one, then the customer name is Dinesh. So now let me add what you know one more row. So I'm gonna say let me come in the transaction. So now let me do the select rows from the customer table. So we have what you know two rows available in this table. So now let's do the same query in the camel. How to do that, right? So in order to do that, of course we have to add what you know few camel dependency do that so go to the farm XML so we have to actually add what you know few dependencies so just go to what you know your uh, maven repository in the maven repository you can find camel JDBC just give an enter you can find the artifact just add this artifact as part of your project so the latest version is 2.22.1 so you can actually take it copy the dependency, just add it into the project. Right, it's added. So now you can see that, you know, it's going to pull up the dependency and going to add it into our Maven project. So you can see that that is actually added. Camel JDBC is added. So likewise, we need to add what, you know, the JDBC uh, connector for MySQL database. So to get it, go to the same maven, you can find MySQL connector, right? So you'll get a MySQL connector. So my database actually, it's a 5.5, so I'm gonna get it, get the similar version. So I'm gonna get what you know, the file distribution. So to maintain the compatible so my database is 5.5 so I'm just you know downloading the the nearest version okay so add them into what you will form XML right so now we can see that both the dependencies added in your project just go to the package now so for what we did, you know, we just uh, created the database, we created the table, now we added few dependency for the May for the camel project. So in order to do the interaction between what? Database and then camel application. So far we just created the database and we just added all the necessary dependency to our camel application. Okay, now let's write a code to make a communication between the camel application and database. So how to do that? So go to the package, create a new class. I'm gonna name this class as SQL operation. Let me add a main method in it. So now, as we all know the first step, we have to create a context, then we have to add a routes to the context. So let me simply do that. Camel context, context, equal to new default camel context. 
here what I'm going to do, I'm going to add routes to the content. So add routes new route builder. So it's one way to handle the exception. I'm going to throw it as of now. So for so far we did the typical step that we used to do for all our camel application, right? So we just added the context. We just uh, added what you know routes to the context. Now let me make a communication between camel application to our MySQL database. So how to do that? You can do it by creating the data source. So to create the data source, data source, you can find there is a data source called since we are dealing with the MySQL, the data source name is data source MySQL data source. Just click this. You can create the instance for your data source equal to new MySQL data source. I'm going to add the few information about the database. So data source dot first the sit URL, right? So what is the URL? What is the connection URL for this data source? So JDBC colon colon MySQL colon slash slash localhost three three zero three zero six. That is the default port number for MySQL database slash the database name. So if you remember, we created the database called camel underscore tutorial. Please mention the same camel underscore tutorial. Now we just added our URL. Now data source dot set user. So what is the database user? So my username for the database it's root and then we have to add a password. Data source dot set password. So my database password is root again. So now we captured what you know few information as part I mean uh, it's, it's about the database, the URL and username and then password. So now we have to add this data source to my registry. So how to do that? Simple registry, registry equal to new simple registry, registry dot put, I'm going to call this as what? My data source. So what is the data source that we have? Data source, right? So now I'm going to pass this registry to our camel context. Now if you look at it, we can we created what in a data source for our database then we added the data source to what simple registry we added the registry to what the context now we're good to go so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create two di different endpoints first endpoint is from we'll leave it empty as of now then two endpoint the two endpoint it's a bean so now here, I'm going to trigger this endpoint direct colon start using the producer template because somebody has to trigger the camel routes, right? I'm going to trigger it by using the producer template. So producer template, producer template equal to context dot create producer template, right? Before that, let me start the context. I started the context, I created the producer template. In the, the producer template, I'm just simply going to send body. I'm going to say what I'm going to do direct dot start. So I'm not going to send any message to this particular endpoint. I just want to trigger this endpoint when my cam when my camel application is started. That's what I'm using. What you know, this producer template. So so far so good, right? What we are gonna do now? We have to trigger the SQL, so SQL query to this database, and then we have to fetch this information and populate in the camel application, right? So to do the to do that, what I'm going to do exactly? 
just go to the two endpoint simply add jdbc colon the data source name that we have here if you look at it we have two endpoint one is a from endpoint another one is a two endpoint but the from endpoint so which is actually triggered by the producer template the two endpoint it's going to uh, talk to what you know the database but what exactly the query that we want to trigger through the database so that can be done with the help of the producer template so here i'm going to add one more argument that's going to be the query actual i want to be injected customer so the producer template want to send this query to this endpoint. This endpoint will receive that message. So this endpoint will pass that message. When I say message, will that will pass that query to this database, right? So now we got the query. Now we are injected the query to this database. We perform that uh, injection. Now we need to get a result right how to do that you know to do that i'm going to create the separate class so that can be achieved with the help of the other method called bean here i'm going to pass two argument one is the bean name another one is what the method that has to be triggered so what is a bean since we don't have a bean let me create what you know the new class so i'm going to create the new class called result handler result handler right the result handler is going to have the method public void print result right so when i hit this query i'm going to get what the list of customer information right so here you can mention the list right so just simply loop it so this list is actually from java total package so loop them So I'm going to say list dot size, then simply system dot dot print ln sys out. I'm going to say list dot get of i, right? Right, so our result handler class is created. Now I have to create instance for this result handler in the bean method. So new result handler. So what is the method I want to trigger? You can pass it with the double quotes. I want to call this method print result. Call this method, right? So now let me simply run this class. We'll see what is going to happen. Here we go. We have two rows available in the database, in the table. So one is the Dinesh, another one is what in a Krishna. We received exactly those two information as part of our example. So this is how you can actually pass any SQL query, you know, via what the camel and then you can get the result. So thanks for watching.